Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck, and we're doing bracket racing today. That's right, and we're doing it with three kind of old ancient trucks. Come on, let's talk to the people who own them, or at least are gonna be driving them. Roman, what do you got? Dude, I've got a 1985 Chevy K10, and this is the best, the baddest, the coolest truck of the bunch because while it started out with an old tire 305 Chevy, it is now has a Performance 350ZZ6. And I've got a secret weapon. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, I was just in Nashville with Tommy, and look what I bought, man. Ooh, look at those! Yeah! yeah. Pucky kickers! Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm calling these Crapzilla kickers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go talk to Tommy. <laughs> ah, you might recognize this truck. Yeah. Tommy, what do we got here? Well, this is a 74 F250 High Boy and its primary modification is corrosion. This is a mixture of Bondo and holes, and that was a lot lighter than the factory steel that used to live there. Built Ford Tough. Okay, come on, let's go talk to somebody who's dying to talk oh, to you guys. Man. All oh, right, Zilla. let's talk about uh, what he calls Crapzilla. Oh, yeah. This is a 1994 Dodge, back when they called them Dodge, Dodge Ram 1500. It's a short bit, four wheel drive, jacked up, it's got a four inch lift, three inch body lift, so we're tall. All right, all right, all right. here's it, the question, here's the question. First of all, are you ready to race? Oh, of course we And are. second question, is it circumcised? All right guys, yes, we're gonna hit the is. race right now. Let's get rocking. Of course, I'm the only one with a carburetor still. <laughs> What's under the hood? Well, you know, I'm the youngest guy here with the oldest truck. And this is what really separates this truck from those other two. This is a classic. It's an antique truck. Back in the good old days. Not, no used kind of modified truck. This is pretty much stock. It's either a 360 or a 390. Pretty worn out with a three-speed automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, and four tens. And remember, it, that's a and filter, isn't it? Uh, that's a K&N air filter, I think. Yeah, no, she's won. You already won. As far as I'm concerned, you're the winner. Look, here's here's a fact, right? Okay. No one buys an old truck like this to win in a drag race. It's all about the off-road. So that's what I'm counting on. But it could be a monster out here. We'll see. Guys, there's no way that we should drive all three trucks on this strip at the same time. A little too narrow. It's not just that. I mean, with your power steering, no. So. Let's do rock, paper, scissors, and we will be able to decide who the first two are. Let's so the see. person who wins this gets to sit out the first round. Sure. All right, let's go. Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, okay, so you're sitting out. I'm sitting out. All, All right. Pause. Rusty just, boy just take with, a nap. Take a nap, uh, Roman. with the slant six. It'll be great. I'm not hoping for a lot here, but we'll see. Please don't blow up, truck. I've ever like really put my foot into it. Look at this, I've got a little Go EFI Fitech uh, controller that tells me things like my coolant temperature, my RPM, all kinds of useful things right here. It's old, yet it's new. How cool is that? All right, what's under the hizzy? Dude, you know what's under there. It's a Chevy Crate engine, it's a ZZ6. We're into like 15K into this truck now. Yeah, it's got the most mods, it's got the most money. Uh, it's also got 
the worst transmission for this. It's a three speed, well, four speed manual transmission. And the throws, you have to like launch yourself. It's like it, that next gear, second gear is like Nebraska, dude. Fortunately, you have freakishly long arms, so you'll be <laughs> just fine. It's a Saginaw four speed. I actually had one on the truck myself. Now, here's the cool thing they just recently put on fuel injection. Yeah, the pedal body fuel injection. So uh, it should be the most powerful truck here 405 horsepower. Of course, the K10. You raise the C10, the two-wheel drive, you slam. But since this is a K10, it's lifted, dude. Now I know what you guys are gonna say. We're comparing a truck with 11 grand now worth of crate engine to a $3,800 rust bucket. And you may think that's not fair, but this is just fun, guys. If you're out with your friends, if you're out with your buddies, uh, enjoying the nice day, you wouldn't care what you have under the hood. You wouldn't care how much rot you have on the side of your bed. It's all about fun. It's all about just going out there and doing it. Obvious, this can be very embarrassing for me if I lose to a high boy that's uh, 10 years older, especially since I've got all the uh, go fast parts. There we go. Okay, there we go. big green. Obviously, uh, you know, when you put 15k into a truck, it helps. It helps, yeah. You are the winner. Tommy gets to race to the loser. Yeah, they do again. They get basically get to go again. All right, cool. Twenty horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque and it has eight injectors and full flow exhaust all new brakes you know so that we can stop after we fly through the ditch back there but new radiator new transmission cooler new everything we've been building and building and building Ruben is my mechanic he is with advanced transmission and auto repair in Longmont and he's been working tirelessly on this he's been tuning it he's been doing all this stuff and I had to do a uh, this is what you call a redneck band-aid yeah, this is, <laughs> there's some uh, duct tape here <laughs> I'm noticing tape. too. This has got a body lift, and so we're still getting everything to fit the body lift. Everything's lower, which is easier to work on. Whoa, look at that big, look like a semi hood, doesn't it? Look like a baby Kenworth. I guess the smallest engine lost, but you know, I had a fly in my eye. It was, I, I could hardly see the track. UFOs were where we were. Yeah, scaring. but I did get 4,000 RPM at the end of the track. It just, I couldn't get at the beginning of the track. Well, your truck sounds really good, and that's a good start. And maybe in the future, when we do off roading, they'll show them a thing. Well, or it's, two. A, it's a project truck. It takes a while to get it all done. Yeah, tell me, are you second place? Yeah. Congratulations. I'll take that. You know what? I actually had a great day out here today. The truck performed way better than I thought. It just goes to show, even with kind of a worn out old engine, um, a truck like this will perform well. On the second race against Big Green, I did get some tranny slippage. The transmission was certainly getting hot. The stock cooler is just not cutting it anymore. But, you know, it's still here, it's still running. Proof that a little bit of an investment makes your truck fast. Yeah, I gotta thank our friends over at Summit Racing for the throttle body injection, Magnaflow, of course, for the exhaust, and Chevy for the ZZ6, but I'm gonna throw out a challenge, Nathan. Okay. We have friends at Ford. Yes. Coyote would do really well. Ooh. We've got friends at Ram. Yep. And 
you know, a new crate engine for that, Crabzilla would do really well. <laughs> so if you're listening, Mike and Nick, <laughs> please the challenge, send it to us. The challenge has been thrown down. Hey, Michael, what's, uh, what truck laid down this mess? This comes thanks to Kent's Crapzilla. Yeah, yeah. He was leaking a bit of oil.